and thank you for joining me on part four. We're going to bring this script all together, complete it, and you're watching using VBScript to set Active Directory attributes. Just to do a quick recap, here's uh, what we've done so far in part one. We learned how to open a connection to Active Directory. We also defined a, a specific OU to look through, as well as what type of objects we're going to look for, which are user groups and contacts. In part two, we utilized regular expressions to pull out the specific account number for, from the distinguished name attribute. And in part two as well, we uh, d created some basic logic to uh, determine if account number can be found, and if not, and we define a default account number. We also, in uh, part three, learned to set up uh, two particular logs and started to bring out some of the basic information that we're going to record. And then in part four, we're going to bring that, we're going to close that loop and finally be able to record all the information. And also, we uh, do the final bit of logic that we need to determine if an object should be changed, and if so, uh, how to record that information into a log file. Now that the script is completed, you're probably going to be wanting to turn this into a scheduled task so you don't have to manually run this. And the best way of doing this is uh, taking a look at the other video th that I created as well as the post on it-rate.com. And it's labeled Delegating Property Specific Attributes in Active Directory. And I show you how to create a service account and delegate specific rights to that account so it's a limited service account and then also uh, go through about setting up on a scheduled task. Alright, here's the part 4 script that we're going to be using and I just want to go through the, the main the main subroutine here which is uh, called set account info and just uh, kind of step through this a little bit. Uh, so originally in uh, parts 1 and 2 we kind of went over this uh, this piece this do until and that's kind of where we left off and essentially in this we're, we're going through and taking a look at each individual record and then determining if the account number can be pulled out of the distinguished name and then if not then we're going to set the, the, the final result which is going to be the account number uh, to this particular value right here and now uh, going a little bit further we go ahead and uh, for the reporting purposes we're going to pull out the user's common name which is done by this object get, object get and we're going to store it to string common name and then coming down coming down to this block right here we're ba basically seeing if uh, the extension attribute one already exists and if it does exist if it matches to the final result that was determined and if it's equal, then we're not going to change the record. And we're going to go ahead and do this piece here as well, which we're going to count the unchanged records. Uh, describe a little bit more in detail on uh, the post, so please read that about uh, doing the arithmetic functions here. And then we're going to move to the next, next record uh, because we don't need to do anything with this particular one. And then we're going to fall down into this else statement if the string final result does not equal extension attribute 1. And in this particular case, we're basically saying if it's empty, extension attribute 1, then we're going to set this string here of attribute value to blank. And that's going to be for reporting purposes. And then we're going to go ahead and write the results to the log file. And we're going to go ahead and call this function, or this particular routine, account info change, passing it the final result, which is, again, the count number. And if we'll go ahead and complete out this uh, rest of this. And if it's not blank, then we're going to get extension attribute 1, set it to the original attribute value. This is for reporting purposes again. And then we're going to call the, the write to log file and we're going to pass these particular variables over to it. And then we're going to call the account info change again. Uh, so essentially if the extension attribute 1 is blank this piece hand is handled. If it's not blank then this piece does it 
and assuming that since it's not blank it has something in there we're going to record that value so we can report on it and then once again we move to the next record and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this piece down here and right now you'll see that I have the two lines commented out and in a little bit I'll actually uncomment them uh, so we can actually truly write to Active Directory uh, but in this particular case just for testing purposes we're going to do an echo, echo statement and then we're also going to do another record keeping function which is recording the different changed records and we're going to increment it by one whenever we enter into this uh, subroutine alright so to uh, cover ADSI edit I just wanted to show you that the extension attribute on all the objects right now are set to nothing and also that uh, where we're recording our log files we have no files in there and we'll go ahead and run the script and now we can see that we do a total of eight changes and the total records is eight script runtime is zero which I covered in another video of why that's happening and then also if we come over here we can see that we are recording some information all those eight changes that were made and then we have the original values if it was blank it's recorded as blank if it was not then it would uh, be a different account number possibly uh, zero zz-000 and then we also have the execution stats so in this particular case this only is going to happen whenever changes are made and that is done with this little piece of logic here stating that if the number of change records is greater than zero then we're going to write to log file so whenever we enter into this particular subroutine we're incrementing up from zero string change records to plus one which then makes this happen otherwise if no changes are made then it won't write to the log file we're going to go ahead and change these uh, two lines uncomment them out and we're going to show you uh, the, the final final goal of this and essentially what we're doing is we're taking a string final result which is going to be the account number and we're going to set that to the extension attribute one value and then once it's set we're going to complete the change by doing the object get set info alright I have uh, refreshed the logs and let's go ahead and run this and you'll see pretty much the same exact output If we go back over to ADSI edit now we'll see a little different here that extension attribute one is actually set as well as we still have our log file being written to but now if we come back over here and rerun this script again we'll see that nothing was changed as well as nothing was added to either of these log files. Now we also want to record the information for the iterate team so they also are going to have an account number set. In order to do this all we need to do is come back over into here and copy the customer setup, the regular expression piece and then also the call info piece and then repaste it and now we just need to change out the regular expression as well as the OU and I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Alright we uh, have this completed so just cover it real quick we're going to also target the iterate team OU and we're also going to use this pattern to determine the basically the account number which you remember as before we're going to trim out the OU equals and then use whatever's left over as the account number so in this case we're going to use iterate now in the previous uh, part that the, you just watched we saw that there were eight total changes made to Active Directory and eight total objects so now when we run this we should also see that we have nine total objects and only one change so we changed Craig Irvin so we had a total of change one record and a total of nine objects now if we come back over to our, where our log files are written to we'll see that I was changed and also that the execution stats were once again written